I've used Bricklink Studio. You've probably seen me use Bricklink Studio to design all kinds of Lego models like this, bigger ones, smaller ones, all sizes. And I want to teach you how to use Bricklink Studio because it is, without a doubt, the best Lego designing software. All the cool kids are using it. This is going to take a whole bunch of videos to cover, and this isn't even part one. This is like part zero. Studio, or stud.io, is a Lego building CAD program, which means computer-aided design. All the Lego pieces are in the computer. You can drag and drop them, build, kind of like in Minecraft. And because it's digital, you can design a lot more iterations of an idea. If you want to take something apart or multiply a design by 12 times, run them up, uh, you don't have to physically take it apart or physically build it over and over again. You just click. And having access to that kind of power can challenge and grow your Lego creativity to try things you might not try if you have to actually sit there and pull it apart again over and over again. I Maybe I'm just lazy. I've been using Studio for about five years, and uh, while I feel very comfortable and capable using it, I certainly don't know everything there is to know about it. I'm still learning new things all the time from other people making really great tutorials. The way I learned BrickLink was getting stuck, running into a problem, looking up an answer, eventually figuring out what I was even trying to ask, and then and then watching a tutorial, and yeah. I want to help you get familiar enough with what it can do and what the terms are for things, so that way when you run into a question, you'll have the terminology to go on the internet and look up an answer from somebody who knows a lot more than me. The point of general education isn't to teach you everything, it's to teach you enough so that way you can teach yourself. And that's what I want to do. So, uh, step one, um, download Studio. 